Hey guys, Eman from Peso Smart PH here and welcome sa panabagong episode. Shoutout din sa mga podcast listeners natin. Today, yung i-discuss natin is yung taxes and fees involved with stocks. Before we get on topic, mag-lay muna tayo ng foundation with personal income tax kasi yan yung kalimita nating na-handle, ba? Diba? And uh, automatic naman yung kinakaltas sa mga sweldo natin if uh, hindi kayo exempted sa personal income tax. So, ito, uh, yung 12,000 is yung uh, standard na minimum wage sa Metro Manila. So, exempted siya sa tax basically. And yeah, previously before pa uh, gamitin tong bagong system na to back in 2018, exempted din sila. So, yung kailangan lang bayaran is yung SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig Contribution which amounts to 701 pesos. So, yung take-home mo is 11,299. Medyo malaki pa din. And then, ito moving on. Ito yung threshold actually. Ito yung uh, minimum, kumbaga, para mag-qualify to pay taxes. So, pag nag-jump na to 21,815, yung kinikita mo per month, uh, magbabayad ka ng tax. Medyo maliit pa lang since ito nga yung uh, kumbaga entry level. So, 8 centavos lang siya. So, previously, before this system was applied, nasa 3,125.10 yung babayaran mo. Ang laki, diba? Ang laking difference. And ngayon, halos wala ka namang babayaran. 8 centavos lang. And then, yung total contribution mo lang sa SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig. So, 20.8k pa rin yung take home mo compared uh, do sa lumang sistema which was 17,708 and 64 centavos so ang laking difference diba yung savings mo per year is around 37.5k ang laking bagay nun pwede nang pang simula sa pag invest and then if uh, government employee ka naman medyo mas mataas lang so kapag ka below 23,357 pesos yung sweldo mo per month uh, exempted ka pa rin sa taxes. Uh, but if ganito na yung sweldo mo and then mas mataas pa. So uh, magbabayad ka na ng tax. And before, same lang din dun sa pang uh, private company kanina. Nasa 3.1k yung na-save mo. And then, mas malaki lang ng konti yung contribution uh, na binibigay ng mga government employees. Nasa 2.5k. And then, yung tax savings is almost the same. Centavos na yung uh, nabago, 37.5k. Exempted pa rin nga yung mga minimum wage earner and yung mga OFWs natin sa personal income tax. Then, ito pa yung ibang klase ng tax, yung VAT or value added tax. So, halos lahat tayo is nagbabayad yan. And meron lang din konting exceptions like yung mga raw food, so raw meat poultry, uh, fish, and then yung mga gulay, fruits, vegetables. Isa din yun sa advantages ng pagkain ng healthy. Kasi walang vat yung mga raw meat and yung mga gulay and prutas. And then meron ring corporate income tax. So kung nagbabasa na rin kayo or sumisilip na rin kayo ng mga financials ng stocks na binibili nyo, may kita nyo yan yung EBT, earnings before tax, and net income yun, nakaltas na yung tax on and lahat ng expenses. So yung corporate tax rate is around 30%. And then yung sales tax or yung VAT rate is at 12%. And then ito yung source ko uh, about dun sa mga exemptions ng value added tax. Yan nga, mga raw food products. Okay, so I'm gonna start with yung rate ng uh, dividends na natatanggap nyo. So, 10% lang siya. Fix siya. So, kahit malaki or maliit lang yung nakukuha nyo yung dividends. So, for example, nakukuha kayo ng dividends worth 100 pesos. Kapag ka natanggap nyo yun sa account nyo, may 90 pesos na lang yun. Kasi we withhold na agad nila yung 10% na tax para hassle-free ka na, diba? So, sila na yung magbabayad nun sa government, sa BIR. And then, syempre, the same thing goes for bigger amounts. So, kung 100k, kung 1 million man yun, or 10,000, 10% lang din yung ikakaltas. And, 
uh, yung i-credit sa account mo is sa'yo na yung lahat. Ito yung current position ko with my preferred stock sa San Miguel Corporation which is SMC2C. Meron akong 1,000 shares. Nakuha ko siya at an average cost of 77.4731 per share. So yung last traded price niya kahapon is at 78. So ba diba, medyo kumita na ako dapat dun. Around 52.69 centavos na dapat yung kinita ko. Pero bakit ang nakalagay dito is meron akong loss, unrealized loss na 171.20. Bakit nga ba ganun? Well, tama naman. Naka-indicate dito yung market value is at 77.301.90 versus sa total cost ko. Tama naman na meron akong dapat uh, net loss or like unrealized loss na 171.20. However, yung last traded price nga niya is 78. So, dapat yung market value ko is 78,000 pesos but 77 na lang. Well, dyan papasok yung mga fees and taxes. So kung wala yung taxes and fees na yun, kumita na ako technically dapat ng 526 pesos and 9 centavos. Actually, 90 centavos. But since meron mga fees, ayan o, kapag ka nag-place ako ng sell order, 1,000 shares and then uh, 78 yung price per share na ibebenta ko. Ayan, yung value, yung gross value niya is at 78,000 pesos. Pero yung total charges is at 698.1. Kaya tama yung total value, total market value na naka-indicate dun sa BPI trade. Which is 77,301.90. So paano nga ba nakukompute yan? Scammers ba to? Hindi. Kasi nasa FAQs naman yan ng BPI trade. And since ito yung broker na gamit ko, ito lang yung gagamitin kong example kasi wala na akong choice. And yung FAQs is nasa description sa baba. So check out nyo na lang yun. So ito yung mga included fees and taxes uh, kapag nagbenta ka ng stock. Yung commission ni BPI trade is 0.25% of the gross value. So in this case, since 78,000, yun yung kukunin. But if yung 0.25% uh, 20, ng gross value na ibebenta mo is hindi umabot sa 20 pesos, 20 pesos pa rin yung uh, maging commission ni BPI Trade since yun yung minimum commission nila. And then yung value added tax, yung VAT, uh, i-multiply lang yan dun sa commission ni BPI Trade. Papakita ko yan sa inyo mamaya. And then merong PSE fee, napakaliit lang, uh, 0. 0.00005 for every 1 peso nung gross value traded. And then SCCP fee, uh, actually that stands for Securities Clearing Corporation of the Philippines. Yeah, that's it. So 0. 0.0001 for every 1 peso din nung gross value traded. And then sales tax is at 0.60% on the gross value. Ayan. Nasaan yung kalyo ko? So, yung kukompute natin is uh, 78,000. Multiply muna natin sa point uh, 25%. So, 195 siya. And then, i-add natin yung value added tax or VAT. So, times point hindi pala, 1.12. Si 12% yung uh, yung rate. So, nasa 280 na. Ano pa ba yung inadagdag natin? Pagkita tayo ng parenthesis. Tapos, kailangan yung 0. 0.0000. Maraming 0, 0.5 times 78,000. And then, yung SCCP fee. Add din natin yan. Parenthesis lang. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Times 78,000 ulit. And then lastly, yung sales tax which is yung pinakamalaking portion. Plus open parenthesis ulit. Uh, 78,000 times 0. 0.006. Gives us 698.1. Tama naman yung values, di ba? Yep, tama. 698.1. 
So, if ever makita kayo ng ganito malaking uh, parang fees uh, or charges, uh, hindi yun scam ads. <laughs> Nakasulat yun actually sa sa FAQs ng mga stockbrokers nyo. And I believe almost the same naman yung mga commission nito mga online stockbrokers but it may still vary. So, double check nyo na lang. And if BPI trade yung ginagamit nyo, then this will definitely apply to you. So, yung breakdown, tanggalin natin yung si CalQ. Breakdown yan is ito. Commission and VAT, 218.4. PSE fee, di ba maliit lang? Siya yung pinakamaliit sa mga babayaran mo. 3.9. And then, SCCP fee, maliit lang din. 7.8. And then, yung sales tax yung pinakamalaki. At 468 pesos. And syempre, if mababa lang naman yung... Uh, amount na ibebenta mo, then mas bababa din tong amount na to. Isa to sa mga reason kung bakit hindi ko masyado trip yung day trading. Kasi imagine, day trading nga, ba? So, everyday bibili ka, and then magbebenta ka. So, buy and sell. Uh, everyday babayaran mo tong mga fees na to. Which is, uh, pretty big din. Lalo na kapag ka parang high roller ka na, na, na trader. Kasi kung isipin mo, uh, if like maliit lang naman yung amount na mga trade mo, then... Uh, maliit lang din yung fees. But still, uh, pag kinalculate mo yun, yung percentage is the same pa rin. And ayun nga, tulad nga nito, 78,000 yung worth. And then yung mababawas sa uh, potential na kikitain mo is 698. Uh, I think, well, for me personally, mas okay na i-hold ko na yung stock and then, you know, wait for dividends. Disclaimer, I don't discourage anyone from day trading. If that's your cup of tea and trip mo talaga yun, go for it. However, if pinapanood mo tong video ko, uh, I guess wala kang masyado matututunan about day trading because I don't do that. Let's move on. If bibili ka naman ng stock, ano yung fees and may tax din ba na involved? So sa buy transaction with BPI trade, meron din silang commission, same rate lang sa sell. And then syempre may VAT din yun. And then, same PSE fee and SCCP fee. Same rates lang, na wala lang yung sales tax. So, let's give an example. Uh, let's say, na ka ng stock with CIC, Conception Industrial Corporation. If hindi mo pa napapanood yung video ko reviewing this stock and this company, click mo lang tong link sa taas. So, for example, gusto mong bumili ng CIC, 100 shares at its current market price which is 20 pesos per share so yung total charges na may incur is 22.7 total value nyan eh syempre add mo lang doon sa 2000 kunin ulit natin si calculator para makita kung accurate ba to ayan so 2000 yung gross value uh, merong 25% 0.25% Kailangan nyo lagi mag-add ng two zeros if may percentage. And then, i-multiply mo yun sa 1.12 for the VAT. Plus, open parenthesis. Point, yung maraming zero naman. Apat na zero and then 5 times 2,000. Plus, uh, open parenthesis ulit. 2,000 times 0 0.0001. Ah, tama ba? 5.9. Bakit kulang? Okay, mali ako kasi dapat yung uh, commission nila is fixed at 20 pesos. So, dapat 20 pesos times 1.12. So, 22.4 na agad yun. Ne-add mo yung PSE and SCCP fee. So, yan. Tatama na tayo ngayon. Plus 2,000 times 0 0.0001. Ayan, tama na. 22.7. Accurate naman. And then, uh, since medyo mababa yung uh, kinuha nating shares, tingnan natin kung mas mataas naman uh, yung bibilhin natin. So, ito yung value is nasa 8,000 na yung gross. 400 shares yan. And then, same price at 20 pesos. And then, same stock, CIC. 8,000 pesos talaga yung ideal price or parang cap 
para matik advantage mo yung minimal fees. Nag-create ako ng separate video about dyan. If trip mo rin panoorin, click mo lang tong link sa taas. Kung ikumpara mo, 100 shares uh, versus 400. Yung 100 shares, merong fees na 22.7. And then yung 400 shares, nasa 23.6 lang. So, nag-increase lang ng 0.9. Tama ba? Yes, 0.9 lang. Sobrang konti lang nung in-increase. So, mas okay na bumili ka ng mas mataas na shares. Yun yung advantage kapag ka mas malaki yung budget mo. Kung bibili ka ng CIC na pa 100-100 lang, pag na-reach mo na yung 400 shares, uh, nasa 90 plus pesos na yung uh, babayaran mo na fees compared to the 23.6 uh, pesos if uh, isang bagsakan lang yung pagbili mo. So, may advantage talaga if uh, medyo mas malaki yung budget mo. So, aim for 8,000 palagi if bibili ka ng isang stock. Kasi mamamaximize mo yung uh, fees. And, ayun nga, makatipid ka. Lalo na kapag kalaya ka nag-invest and consistent ka nag-invest. Okay, try na rin natin i-compute since mas malaki to. 8,000 times point. 0, 0, 25 plus okay uh, mali tayo dapat 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 multiply sa 1.12 kasi may VAT pa plus 2000 times 0, 0, 0, 0, plus 2000 times 0 0.0001 Bakit ganun? <laughs> oh no. Okay kasi sa 2000 ko lang multiply. Ano ba yan? <laughs> okay, ulitin natin. Nagkakalito na tayo sa math. Patay tayo dyan. 8000 dapat times 0 0 0.0025 times ah, 1.12 plus 8,000 times 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and yeah, post-post nyo lang if medyo mabilis. So, we are heading towards the end of this video. Check natin yung resources natin. And then yung BPI Trade FAQs, yung ASEAN Tax Philippines, and then yung Rappler, yung How Our Investments Taxed. Yun yung actually uh, first resource na nakita ko online. And then like mga parang sobrang hahabang uh, PDF files and then photos yung DOF uh, tax calculator if uh, kailangan yun nasa link De in link nyan is nasa baba lang din and then the law fill project yung RA number 2376 of course before we end today's episode we have a quote from Warren Buffett sabi niya keep things simple and don't swing for the fences when promised quick profits, respond with a quick no. So, iwas kamas yan. We're gonna end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Sana may natutunan kayo. And if umabot kayo at the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to smash that like button and share na rin kasi nakatulong yun sa YouTube algorithm. And if bago ka sa channel ko, subscribe ka na rin. I upload two new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss that. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe and always remember, be peso smart.